All right, welcome back to the configuration of uh, OSBF point to point. All right, so we're left off by configuring all the interfaces, all the end devices as well. All right, so let's start with R1. All right, we're going to go to config G. Don't forget when we're all done, you're going to submit the package tracer too, right? All right, so um, the best thing to do, since you already have the show IP route, that's typically what's done, is you, you'll you'll know which networks you need to advertise. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to enable OSPF. So you're going to say router OSPF, and then you're going to put in a process ID. Typically, we always write one. You can write any number you want. It really doesn't matter. One is this way you won't forget. All right, and then you're going to say, I'm going to advertise network. And you see two networks right here, the directly connected networks you're going to advertise. Let's advertise the 10, 10.10.10. Dot, and you see it's dot four, right? Space, now you gotta write the wildcard for slash 30. So how do you do that? If you go to my Microsoft, open up Microsoft Word, um, you need to put 255.255.255.255, and you're gonna subtract slash 32 which is this slash 30, right? Network slash 30, I'm sorry. Slash 30 is what? 255.255.255.252. So what's 255 minus 255? Zero dot. That's not zero, that's not zero dot. 255 minus 255 is another zero, right? Let me just move this over to so see. And another 255 minus 255. That's also another zero. And 255 minus 252 is a three. So there's my wild card, zero, zero, three. So you'll write that here. Zero dot, zero dot, three. And then you can write area zero. Okay, so I then type three zeros. I'll just put another zero. There you go. And now I'm going to do network. I want to advertise the other directly net, directly connected network, which is 192.168.10.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.
which is this interface for you to say to it um, IP OSBF. Um, hold on a second. It should type IP OSPF uh, number one area zero. So now that is now participating in OSPF area one. If I go to the interface, hit the upper key. Oops. Oh, now it actually took it. So if I hit the upper arrow key and go to serial 001 and do upper key one twice. Whoops. Hear that. And now serial one is also operating. So you could do that much easier probably than writing network, network, advertiser network. You just go to the interface that you want after you enable OSPF and give it the router ID. Go to the interface and type IP OSPF, the process ID area zero, and you should all be good. All right, now we can go to R1, and let me just make sure um, I am already in router OSPF. So I have to, all I have to do is just R-O-U and hit the tab key, and let's make the router ID 1111, right, because I forgot to do that. All right, so um, I don't have to do that. I'm not going to clear anything. Don't worry about that for now. Let me go to R3 now. So in R3, I'm going to do in config t right i'm going to type router ospf1 right so um what we're all, what i'm going to do is i'm going to let's see you know what let's do do show ip route the reason i write the word do first is because if i just wrote show IP route, it's not going to display because the command show doesn't work. So when you write do, you're asking the operating system, please execute this command at this mode. So it will do that for you. Okay. So these are the networks that I need. So I'm going to say network. Okay. So what I'm going to do this time, so you'll see everything. Um, Let's do the 11. I'm going to type in the actual interface. 11.11.11.10, right? I'm going to type the interface, this interface IP address, right? And then type quad zeros. So I don't have to figure out the um, wildcard and hit enter. And it will figure it out myself. Uh, it will figure it out itself. So the next one, I'm going to type network, and I'm going to type in 172.16.100.128.120.172.16.100.0. Right? Oops. Excuse me. I'm sorry. So 1.0 right and what's the slash 25 wildcard so let me go to here what's slash? i'm sorry let me go to microsoft word slash 25 as at the end 128 right so 125 minus 128 is what 127 that's my wildcard so i'll go back in here and i'll go back to the router. All right, let me just go back in here and type my wildcard 0 .0 .0 0.0.0.127. All right, oh, I forgot to type in. Yeah, 0, right? All right, and now we're going to do a passive interface on G0 slash 0. Enter. All right, do control Z. And type show IP route. All right, and I see that I can see the network 192.168.10 has been learned through O, right? And you see what's this? This is the link. This is the cost, right? This is the cost from here, this one plus this one plus this one. 
right? So good, so I can reach it now. We should be able to ping each other. So let me go and ping 172.16.100.1. Well, you got to type ping first. Ping 172.16.100.1. Which is the PC all the way on the other end, right? PC two. Um, it's not pinging, so let's see. Okay, so we have to troubleshoot now and find out what the problem is. All right, and here's the problem. I wrote one seventy two one sixty eight instead of sixteen. This default gateway on PC two is wrong, so let me fix that. All right, and close this, and let's try the ping again. Hit the upper arrow key, and enter. And there you go, it replies. All right, so I'm going to make this like the headquarters, by the way. And let's, um, uh, let me exit, and let's create a loopback address interface. Loopback, zero. We're going to simulate um, IP at... And then 12.12.12.12, 55, 255.255.255. Okay, so we're going to, this is simulated like the, if this is the, um, the internet, this loopback address. And I'm going to write the default route, IP 0000 space IP route. Route. Quad zeros with quad zeros again. And I'm going to say um, LO0. All right. So if you do control Z and you type show IP route, there you go. It comes in in the route. Now I'm going to give that to all the other routers so they can set their default routes to me. So I'm going to go config T and go to my init, go back to router OSPF1. And I'm going to type DEF default, hit the tab key, and originate, just the letter O, hit the tab key. So now router 1 and router 2 should have their default route pointing to R2. So if you go to R1 and do control Z, and type show IP route, and there you go. And if you go to R2, R3, R3 should have the same thing, show IP route, and he does the same thing as well. All right, excellent. All right, the other thing that I want to do is we want to go to router 1, and the interface is we don't want them to select a designated router or a backup designated router. These are point to point, so we gotta go and indicate that. So we can go to config T and go to the interface serial triple zero and write the command IPOSPF um, network. So write N network and P enter. That's it. Go to router two and we gotta do the same thing. Interface Serial triple zero. And we're going to say IP OSPF and tap key, P tap key. They're point to point. They're not going to spend a lot of bandwidth or consume bandwidth in trying to elect a backup router. All right. So you could please do the same thing on the other side. But what I want to really do right now is I want to do some com show commands. So hit enter and type show IP OSPF neighbor. All right, so there's your neighbors. Let me discuss these. So his neighbor, 126 and 254, this is on serial triple zero zero one. That's my, this is router two interfaces. So he knows he has a neighbor of dot 254 out of serial triple zero and 126 out of serial triple one. Right? Out of serial triple one. All right. The hello interval, it took about 10 seconds. It's going to be, will be refreshed. Remember the hello.